What's up everyone? I hope you guys have had a great start to your new year. As you can see, back to the old mic setup. My bad. So we're going to start off with our first pickup, which is some cargo pants from Fried Rice NYC. Now full transparency, I got three cargos from Fried Rice. One of them was gifted to me and I bought the other two. Had to show my love and support for local businesses, you know? So we're going to start with these brown cargo pants. Super wide and a relaxed fit. I did get this in a size large and my old black ones are a size medium for size references. The fit is very similar still because it's super relaxed fitting. It's just that the waist size is a little bit different. And I just love the way these are designed. The pockets are slanted, which gives shape and dimension to the pants and the calf pockets while not as practical offer a really cool look and it's just a really nice touch the hardware is really nice and stands out so you can cinch it cuff it or just let it lay on your kicks i typically like to cuff it and wear it with some thick boots like these ones from doc martens and on camera these cargos do appear brown but i would say it's more of a plumish brown colorway so there's a hint of purple in there this is very versatile and more of a daily piece for me and remember you only get your money's worth with clothes if you actually wear them so wear your clothes so you can reduce that dollar per wear average and now these next cargos right here goes crazy these are their hunter camo strap cargos just take a look at the camo and the colors going on you would think this wouldn't work but it it actually works very well you can customize these pants however you want you even get these corduroy colored straps which there's hardware buttons throughout the pants where you can add these straps and I've seen people actually make this into a pair of overalls, which is kind of crazy. But me personally, I just like to use it as an accent belt. And so because you can customize these however you want, you got an infinite number of combinations on however you want to express yourself. Clean piece and definitely makes a statement. And then now we have the insulated pants right here. Just to clarify, these are not ski pants, but they are perfect if you just live in a cold town or city. And what makes these different is how you put on the pants. You have straps that you use to tie it your own way, to have flow as you walk, or just a normal knot. Totally up to you you can cinch the bottom of the pants and i just love the quilted details on this to keep you super warm stylish piece definitely check out fried rice nyc now the next pickup of mine is the nike air max 97s so i've normally only been a fan of the air max 90 series but i think the 97s take the w for what i'm wearing on air max day you've got almost a full length air bubble there's an upgrade in the construction and you can just tell there's a difference between the two. It's structure, it's design, definitely very 90s-esque. But yeah, it kind of depends on my mood. These do have a striking look on a fit. I mean, I'm just gonna pass off the question to you. Do you like the 90s or the 97s or something else? Maybe the 95s, let me know. And you know what would pair well with some Air Max 97s? Some crew socks from the sponsor of today's video, Bombas. So I've owned a ton of socks throughout the years and my goodness, have I been missing out. My old socks will leave lint and fabric in between my toes as a pain and that's how you know you don't have a pair of good quality socks and you just don't get that with Bombas so not only do you get a premium construction a great design you get the comfiest socks I have ever worn all of their socks come with sweat wicking technology so your socks don't stink and they come with a cushioned footbed a honeycomb arch support and what I love about these socks is they stay hugging to your calves and the no-show socks they feel exactly the same comfortable breathable sweat wicking and it's perfect for the summertime and despite being the nicest socks I've ever owned the comfiest socks I've ever owned the best aspect about Bombas is one purchased one donated because socks are the number one most requested item for homeless shelters and your purchase will go directly to supporting that and I respect that if you want to pick up any socks from Bombas definitely click that link in the description I definitely recommend the standard crew socks black or white and the no-show socks but they got a ton of other performance socks regular crew socks and a ton of different colorways there's definitely going to be something for you again click that link in the description and thank you again to Bombas for supporting the the channel and sponsoring this video back to it and so up next we have some really really nice trousers can't get off the rack from Mon Italy. These are their corduroy crop trousers. I just love how these can be styled. The wide fit that tapers down gives room for versatility, so you can rock it with some slim Chelsea boots, a white leather sneaker, or even a casual kick. Corduroy always provides a nice textural contrast on a fit, and they are also pleated as well. I love styling these like a typical New Yorker, all black and a scarf. So this is a timeless piece with a versatile fit, and I would just like to thank Mr. Porter for gifting these over to me. And I also really gotta thank Mr. Porter for sending over this sexy drill jacket from Margaret Howell. What a thing of beauty. So luckily for me, Mr. Porter actually invited me to a holiday dinner. And so we had a little get together and you can actually catch me on Mr. Porter's page, but the jacket, just check out the cut of it. It almost doesn't want to touch your torso. You've got a cropped cut, a bright yellow green colorway and an incredible construction. This is called the drill jacket because the material is actually cotton drill, which they actually use in utility garments. Hence the very stiff military-like construction. Now I just like to cuff the sleeves and rock them with 
with some trousers. I just think the simpler, the better with this piece and let this stand out. Now, keeping it moving, I picked up two scarves from Amazon. They have a lot of fur on it right now, so it's not on here, but both are a bold pop of color. I bought these to use for a future video concept, but these scarves are very affordable pretty standard scarf quality, just gonna keep you warm and can be styled tastefully. Now, because I live in the New York City area, I see scarves all the time. But whenever I went back to ABQ during the holidays, I didn't really see anybody wearing scarves at all. And it was actually colder there than it was in New York. And so I'm gonna assume a lot of small cities are like that. Get a scarf, guys. Step up your scarf game. A scarf is a great way to look a little bit more presentable. It's great to rock on a date as well. And the thing right now is balaclavas, I think that's how you pronounce it. You can get a similar look with a scarf. It's probably gonna be cheaper and you can tie a scarf in so many different ways. Highly recommend a scarf, fellows. Okay, next up, we have this brown hoodie over from Talentless. As you guys already know, I have the cream one, I have the slate gray one. This brown one is awesome. For those of you asking, I do weigh around 162 pounds now. I've been bulking a little bit. This is a size large. It fits me great. It's nice oversized fit. And brown is such a versatile colorway. I know brown was kind of popping like two years ago or something like that, and then it died down quick. It's a neutral colorway that I think every guy should have. I don't think it should ever be trendy. It should be a staple. And last but not least are two items from Alpha Industries. And so I just finished a campaign with them. They sent over two items, got strap cargos and then a parka jacket. And so we're gonna start off with these cargos right here. These are very similar to the jet cargos I already have from them, just not as wide and it's made from a different fabric. And the fabric is heavier, so it doesn't cuff as well. And I would just recommend letting these pants lay on your sneakers. Here I'm letting the pants fall on my Converse's, super casual. The dangling strap adds flow to the fit and it's just a dope piece. This is a great pair of cargos if you do want a little bit of flair but don't want to spend too much money. You can just see the price difference between the fried rice cargos and the Alpha Industries cargos. It all depends on what you like. And finally we got the parka jacket. Oh man are these a blessing out here. It hit single digits the other day. So this parka is water and wind repellent as all parkas should be. It's heavy, has a big old hood and it comes in this perfect military green colorway. And they also have black and navy depending on what you like and what i love about this parka and all parkas in general are the features the hood has a wire that can hold its shape so that you have more control on how the hood is laying on you it's not going to blow off your head and the pockets are fleece lined to keep your hands warm definitely a staple for any of y'all in colder climates all right those are all the pickups right there let me know in the comments down below what air maxes you like and whichever of these items was your favorite as well give the video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and until then stay fly check out bombas deuces